positive. Converging lens, the focal length will be positive. Okay, now silver lens is what I brought it. What is the basic formula? The silver lens, the equivalent of that is plus concave mirror this should be equal to again a mirror only so this is the focal length fm this is fl this is equivalent mirror the reason for that if an object if the, if the rays are incident after refraction they'll strike the mirror they'll get reflected again refraction again they'll meet at this point no so altogether what we can say that one the silver lens, the equivalent of that will be a spherical mirror. So then what should be the formula? The basic formula will be 1 by f equal to 1 by f minus 2 by f n. Substitute f m and f l with sign. So what is the focal length of this? This will be 2 r. Uh, we know this is 10 centimeters. So first we will calculate the focal length. f l equal to mu minus 1, 1 by r, minus 2 by r. Uh, why, why positive? Because the incident ray, the radius of the incident ray towards right is positive. So how, how do you measure this, this radius of curvature in the direction of incident ray? What about radius of curvature, this opposite incident ray? So this will be 1 by fl. radius of curvature of this 10 centimeter minus 20 1 by 2 this will be uh, 3 by 20 Well, equal to 40 by 3 centimeter. Fine. Okay, now uh, what about Fm? Fm will be radius of curvature minus of 2r by 2. Why why all divided by 2? Because no, what, what is the radius of this 2r radius radius of this silvered Curved surface 2R. So what is the focal length of a mirror? Should be 2R. So the radius is 2R here. R is 10. So therefore minus 10 centimeter. Let's substitute all this. Minus 10 to 40 by 3. Minus 1 by 10. Minus 6 by 40. Four, four it will be. The ten I took common, hmm? so this will become minus one minus three by two. So here is what. I got f equal to minus 4 centimeter. Then I'll apply the formula 1 by v plus 1 by equal to 1 by f. u is how much? Minus 16 minus 4. So solving this. by 12 so 16 by 3 
this will be the final image. Means now, what is the, what is actually this one? You have to replace th this particular thing here. In place of lens, a mirror will come. Focal length of that is how much? Four centimeter. I have kept object at sixteen centimeter. Sixteen by three. The image will be here. So how the overall ray diagram? The ray diagram will be. The ray will go here after reflection. Because you are just replacing that with a concave mirror. If negative, it will be concave. If it is a focal length positive, <coughs> convex mirror. So what mirror, concave or convex, will determine the focal length. The final focal length, what you get. So here I got negative. Negative means I should replace the equivalent mirror with a concave mirror. If I get positive, then I should replace with a convex mirror. This will be the position of the final image. 